So hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So unexpectedly, what I have now on my channel is BMW's most anticipated electric crossover. So this is the 2024 BMW iX3 M Sport BEV. I'd like to thank everyone here at BMW Auto Alley. So today is actually the launching of the BMW i models here in the dealership. So as well, I couldn't thank them more than enough for inviting me in this event too. So I was expecting to see my old friend again, the BMW iX. So check that out on my channel it's one of the best cars i've ever driven hence as well being the best electric car i've ever driven until maybe let's find out when i get to drive this like literally right now so again thank you to sir john the new marketing manager too and to miss dimple for making this test drive review possible so before i get to carry the way so what do you get now with this ix3 so unlike with the bmw ix where if you want to shout bombastic futuristic and everything in an electric vehicle this ix3 is literally an electric version of the X3 so example like with the X3 business that I reviewed last month it looks exactly the same like with the X3 models however now to tell the difference this is the electric model you get blue accents over here these are sadly fake vents but again more distinct blue accents here on the grill itself these ones are now shut there's no more holes over here well just under here to cool the electric motors down and little bit unique too now with this iX3 you get blue accents around the BMW badge here ground clearance is exactly the same too like with the X3 unique wheels too for this iX3 so this have aerodynamic advantages of course since being to the M Sport brand you get adaptive suspension over here M badges all around and yet again there's a fake vent over here but I can completely forgive it because that's the only fakery I found here around this uh, iX3 so as well you get LED repeaters over here shadow lines effects over again over here on the side profile so take no, I'm using the black IXT for references. It was so cold in the showroom. So anyway, I do like this gold color. I just put the official color here on screen. So firing this all new BMW IX3. So again, gas starts all around. So this one is an 80 kilowatt hour battery that produces 282 horsepower and 400 and newton meters. So this one produces less power than that of the BMW iX. This one already looks decent with its power figures alone. So as well, you can remove this plastic cover if you want. And as well, this has been on since the event started. Look, I'm touching the plastic cover. It's not burning my hand whatsoever. So another advantage too with electric vehicles. So like with the XP, there's more creases now too on the engine hood and back on the side profile. It looks the same like with the regular XP and on the door handles, there's powder lamps too. And now if you go here at the rear, yet again, it continues the blue accents over here. So yet again, there's blue accents around the BMW badge here and new too. There's this I lettering now beside the XT logo. So the rear, even the tail lights look exactly the same too like with the regular XT. Fake vent over here but yet again, it's just minimal only. Reverse camera over here and then open this boot up now. So being the electric version now of the XC, so all the batteries are stored underneath the vehicle itself. So to give it a better weight distribution, which BMW is known for. So that means there's a slight disadvantage now since all the batteries are now underneath. So the boot space is 40 liters less than the regular X3 at 510 liters. If you fold all of the seats down now, it stands at 1,560 liters. So underneath here, you have underfloor storages, like literally they fit an entire arm, net storages, and LED lights on either side. Well, net storage on the left side only. And then here on the right side, you have a grocery hook and a 12 volt socket. So like with the X3, business that I reviewed one month ago so folding down the rear seats it's quite a stretch over here but yet again folding down the rear seats is very very easy so back here in the showroom so this is the interior of the iX3 so this one looks exactly the same like with the regular X3 and I must say this one looks much more civil than that the iX because the iX just is full of screens I noticed immediately here on the door card so you get the anti-sight wood over here along with your ambient light and there's that chrome x logo too so have not seen that since my old friend here the bmw ix yet again so steering wheel here it looks exactly the same so there's an m logo down below so you have your cruise control functions on the left side and
and your volume and phone connectivity buttons on the right side. So apologies for the lighting. It's, there's an event now. So the steering wheel feels chunky and really soft and it's very very nice to the touch. There is tilt and telescopic all around it. So very good on that. So here on the left side you have your light controls similar like with the regular X3 yet again. So same gobbins over here with your BMW iDrive 8. So you have your digital instrument cluster over here and your 10 inch infotainment system with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So you have a very responsive navigation system and yet again my favorite features with every BMW, your service requirements, so on and so forth. But a little more additions now since this being an electric vehicle. So you have a few more info here like for your charging times and then driving information too with an energy flow. So this is the range left and then there's two driving style analysis so you can only activate it once this vehicle is on and on the move. So below the infotainment system, I do prefer this look too. You have your air conditioning vents along with your controls and sets of buttons for your radio. So at least not all of the functions have to be done here in the infotainment system. So it's not like rest of with the new BMW lineup that you have to control everything here in the infotainment system. So good to know with that too. And first thing I immediately noticed too with this iX3, this is the first BMW that I've encountered so far with a sunroof. So good on that too. So the controls are all here. So you have your lights yet again. Okay, I will turn that off because it's too colorful already. So you have your visor with vanity mirror with lights. So I expect, oh, they don't extend. Only the X5 does. But at least the quality of the sun visor is very good too. So yet again, back here in the dashboard, you have that anti-side wood yet again. And then of course, it's a BMW. There's soft squeegee material all around. And then glove box. Oh, that's really good. There's light too inside. And then here in the center console. So it's like every other BMW. Surprisingly, you have your swivel wheel, your diving modes, your park assist buttons, and your toggle shifter yet again. So I'm not going to complain there's no paddle shifters because this is mated to only one speed and a reverse gear. That's pretty much it. And in front, you have an iX3 logo. And then open this tray up. You have a wireless charging pad, a USB port, two cup holders, and a 12 volt socket. And then center console box okay pretty decent amount of space there's as well a light and one USB-C port and then the seats here looks exactly the same too like with the regular XT so you have electronic adjustments for both front seats I support as well so yeah that's pretty much it here with this iXt in front so the rear seats okay it's pretty good too there's a central armrest with two cup holders a storage tray and then here in the middle you have two air conditioning vents your controls down below and way further down you have your USB-C port so space there in the back is actually just as good with the regular X3 so all around even with the sunroof my headroom is excellent and then as well like with every other BMW you can fold down the center seat so you have net storages and ambient lighting behind both front seats and yeah that's pretty much it so LED lights too all around what is this oh so extra coat hanger over here sorry if you cannot see that but at least you have on either side of this iX3 and new here too to Auto Ali BMW there's a charging station here since the launching of the BMW i model so you can charge your BMW iX3 iX and your i7 here so i7 hopefully coming soon to me so that's the demo unit backing up over here. So as well charging times for this uh, iX3 model. So there's a port here on the right side of the vehicle. So there's two charging ports. So there's a DC fast charger and an AC slow charger. So for the DC fast charger, this one, it will take around 40 minutes from 0 to 80%. And then for the slow AC charge, it will take like a whole day, more or less 12 hours. But at least you can charge it at home. So yeah, that's pretty much it with this iX3. Let's go for a dive. So first time ever, we're doing a night review here. So sorry for all the lighting in advance. So first impressions immediately with this, what iXT. It's so quite off the line. Hence, yet again, it's an electric what version of the X3. I don't know why the seat belt tensioner activated. Oh wow, this is such a surreal experience. So having the, driven the, the iX for nearly over a year ago now, this feels what? I gotta say, just as good. Okay, I can feel the torque is already crazy and you can feel the regen braking of this vehicle since it against electric car, so I won't touch that anymore with the levels of regen braking but I will play with the drive mode. So it's still awesome like what I said earlier in the interior, you still have the Eco Pro Comfort and Sport modes for this iX3. So here just little sprint. Okay, okay. 
we will come down a bit since this is literally an electric vehicle it would put all of its power down immediately and I can tell immediately with this iX3 okay even though it's an electric version of the X3 it drives like a BMW I must say so here rough parts of road okay I will say though this NVH is much better than for some reason than with that of the regular X3 business since that's the last one I've drove to and the region braking I assume this is just level 2 it's actually pretty strong too so I just left it in Eco Pro at the moment so I think you can do the region braking here in the infotainment system but since I'm a little bit pressed for time I won't play with that anymore then handling wise of course Eco Pro would be the lightest and then comfort weights up ever so slightly so I wonder what sport mode is like I noticed too with the suspension of this even though this is what almost 2,000 kilograms already and of course being an electric vehicle it's much heavier than its uh, ice counterpart yeah the suspension is pretty good too around here in the city I mean this humps already here around in centuries is pretty bad already they're really high but this one seems to cope them up pretty well I dare say it, it's a little bit better than that of the regular x -ray. So here now sport mode okay I won't gun it in the corner but it feels flat already like with every other BMW and then here oh my god <laughs> okay it's not as violent as the iX but driving this is already not so remember this is rear wheel drive and 0 to 100 kph is done in 6.7 seconds let us floor it oh oh wow wow that's insane brakes surprisingly for an electric vehicle is pretty strong too okay the brake feel can be a little bit weird sometimes well actually to be honest i find the throttle a little bit weirder than the brake feel so because of course the brake is a little bit stiffer hence the region braking i find the throttle a little bit weird too sometimes it's so soft sometimes it's mushy sometimes it's too hard but then again it's a characteristic of every what electric vehicle but yet again this is the only the second uh, bmw electric vehicle i've tried out so far so i won't give any comparisons with its competition because i mean i've not driven much of its competitors yet so yet again bmw set the benchmark again so here you turn test so okay and just like a regular xt like in the city surprisingly and then i just hear a GoPro and just floor it oh shit okay enough enough okay this time being rear wheel drive the handling i would say is feels a little bit better than the ix for some reason only i mean of course the ix is all wheel drive but rear wheel drive bias remember this ix3 is solely rear wheel drive so it does capture a bit of the bmw magic of not to my surprise bmw do know what they're doing always since they always prioritize driving dynamics over anything else comparing again with the ix so this has less power and less torque than that of the the ix itself but this one puts its power down like any other electric vehicle it's so sudden it's so good too but just driving it here civilly around here in centuries only it's kind of smooth i have to say of course this is actually the right amount of power and torque for an electric vehicle of course i'm very very spoiled with the ix but got to be honest this ix3 could be the electric bmw i would take on because it takes all the boxes for what i need it's powerful it's efficient and it's a bmw enough said so yeah as well i do prefer this handling than that of the ix for some reason maybe yet again like that i said earlier because this is rear wheel drive so nothing's assisting the front whatsoever i find it a little bit what grippier i don't know why maybe it's just the steering feel so here just driving around here in the city so i was about to say fuel consumption my mistake <laughs> so energy consumption wise so right here in the infotainment system um, as well i showed you earlier there's that energy flow here i forgot how many range we started on but so far we're still at 261 kilometers so remember this has a clean range of five 480 kilometers now and not four uh, so 461 kilometers okay it's just like what 20 less almost 20 less than with the ix but still surprisingly not far off and two i just seen the reading now oh 5.7 kilometers per kilowatt hour all right not far off from bmw's crane range of this bmw ix3 so yet again it's a bmw 
I'm madly in love with this but would they take it over the iX I'm not so sure about that however though one tom card of this iX3 is the price so this one costs four million nine hundred and ninety thousand pesos so yeah it's what almost two million pesos less than that of the iX itself so yeah it's this is literally the perfect electric SUV at the moment so here the back part one more time of course despite being heavier than the regular XT the driving dynamics is just as good oh my gosh <laughs> Woo. and actually hilarious your people crossing by they're looking at this car they're wondering why is there no sound with it so one more time oh, wow enough enough <laughs> So right, con that concludes my review of this BMW iX3. What a masterpiece of an electric crossover. So I'd like to thank everyone here at Ota Ali BMW. Thank you for inviting me to for the launching of the BMW i models there at your dealership. To Miss Nelzy and to Miss Dimple for making this review, sudden review possible to and to Sir John too. Let's not forget. So hope you guys like and subscribe and I will see you hopefully with more BMW i models coming right up on my channel. Bye-bye.